take a breath of some fresh air of creativity, and drift away from your usual weekend itinerary. I started this event through my blog, lifeafterbreakfast.com, mm. and then I invite people who want to learn the introduction and the basics about watercolor or calligraphy or rubber cut stamping. Oh, okay. I've been doing art ever since, and I'm a graphic designer, but I like to do watercolor. I started teaching arts and crafts in high school. I just revived the workshops this year. So I started in May, and then now, instead of kids, I teach adults. It's just three hours. It's not a weekly thing, but I have the watercolor like twice a month. And encourages a creative bond through brushes, strokes, watercolor, and interesting painting styles. I welcome a lot of beginners and then it's, I started it because we all love buying materials but sometimes you know you don't know how to use it or how to use it properly. So that's basically the reason for doing these craft renews and also to meet other people who like doing it. It's like getting people together so that they won't they will have more confidence using the materials and they can do it at home with their families or with their friends. We start with discussing the materials and then ways on how to hold the brush, trying out different brush stroke exercises. And after that, we have some activities that we all do together as well. I'm learning some techniques. I'm enjoying it. It's really fun because you get to meet a lot of people also. If any of you want to join the Crafter Noons, you can just visit the blog lifeafterbreakfast.com and uh, I post the schedules there about a month before the workshops. This is definitely the perfect venue for unleashing that inner Van Gogh in you while you get to meet more friends and further explore your knack in art. This is Janina Chan reporting for RPN's Spotlight.